bother made me choose. They bother made me choose. No. What the? F <laughs> no. 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 All right, y'all. We are back. With another episode of The Walking Dead, final season. First and foremost, I wanted to intro this video because I needed to apologize to y'all for last video's audio issues. Um, let's just say it was a it was a, a sequence of events that happened leading up to that, and and yeah, um, I'm gonna explain that in a, in a second. But uh, thank y'all, thank y'all for uh, for tuning into the last episode, even though. <laughs> <laughs> I had those audio issues. I really do appreciate everybody who watched. Um, like I said in the beginning of it, I was gonna re-record it and try to like ha still have a natural reaction, but I, I felt weird about trying to like redo what I've already done. Um, but as I was explaining in that first video, which got cut because of my audio issues, um, I just got uh, I just got back, but um. Basically, I went out of town, uh, went out of town for work, did some training. So I was out there for a week and then, um, yeah, that's when I uploaded the last video. But uh, when I came back, this is going to explain why it's been uh, been a little minute since I've uploaded a video. But when I came back, my PC may have almost exploded. Thankfully, it didn't explode, but yeah, my PC may have almost exploded, uh, but we got it fixed now. But that was the reason why I had audio issues. I basically had to re-download a bunch of stuff and my settings. I didn't think to check my settings. And so, yeah, that's why the audio was missing amongst a lot of other things that were missing off my computer. Um, but yeah, bro, uh, I wanted to talk about the streams because one of y'all, one of y'all lovely subscribers asked about uh, what's going on with the streams, um, which I explained in the first video. Unfortunately, y'all couldn't hear it, but uh, but yeah, streams are coming back. I'm back in town. Um, I'm back in town. So I, my goal is to be streaming more consistently. So once you see this video uploaded, this video will probably be uploaded on a Sunday. Um, I will be streaming that upcoming week and we'll, we're going to be more consistent with streaming. Um, the goal with streaming is uh, the goal with streaming is if, if we're playing something like The Walking Dead, we might not stream The Walking Dead every night. We might stream other games because I've been bro. I took I took this little break trying to fix my computer issues. Once I fix my computer issues, I may or may not have started playing Black Ops 6. And I ain't gonna lie, I kind of got a little bit addicted. So I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 6 off off camera. Um, and I would really like to stream that for y'all, amongst other games that I've that I want to play as well. So consistent streams coming back. Um coming back at, after these videos are uploaded. Um But yeah, man, that's that's what's been going on. I do apologize for like the lack of videos but we're back in town we're back we're back to hustling we're back to grinding if you're watching this video i do appreciate you tuning into the channel if you're new you know what to do sub like comment subscribe anything you feel like doing um but with that being said bro let's get to episode two of the walking dead final season previously on the walking dead i hope y'all can hear me aj and i had been searching <laughs> for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin, the leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. Felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. 
We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then, Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head. What? Okay, I gotta know if that if there is if that would have happened if I had told him any different. I have to know. I'm gonna look it up later. Man, I explained it in the last video, bro. I was so excited to not have any deaths throughout that whole episode until the end. And then that happened. I even tried to protect Marlon. Didn't work. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. Hmm? You're right. Thanks. <laughs> Last night, with Marlin, I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? Kind of. Uh... But also, you're a part of your own, of no. your own environment. Oh my God! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. Bro, it's a shot to the head. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer, but but we're supposed to kill bad stuff, monsters. Did I do it bad? Yes. I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? It sucks. Oh. Back off, all of you! You talked Marlin down, and then they fucking murdered him! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh! Just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. The little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. <sighs> Fuck you, Lewis. He's a little kid, so shut your fucking mouth. We get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? 
If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. We can forgive them. Murderers, even some monsters, they get a second chance. Some monsters, not all. When bad people, like murderers, try to make it right, that's when other people forgive them. That sounds hard. It is. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Saved you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch! Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. Oh, fuck, are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You told me your friend Lee became a monster. But you didn't kill him because he wasn't a threat. Is that why you didn't kill him? I couldn't do it. He was too important to me. I don't want to lose you. I'm right here. I love you, Clem. Say it back. I love you back. This is kind of why I say I don't want large crowds in a situation like this. Hey. Large groups. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night, like a firefighter. No, firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So is everyone else. I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good, like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial started soon. See you out there. <sighs> this is going to be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, OK? OK. This is a tough season, bro. <laughs> this is a tough season. So I, I'm really curious. So the options we had Time to go. when Soon. we were when we were telling AJ about gun gun safety and, and what we what we taught him in the first episode. We had the option to always aim for the head, which he did. The other option was save the last bullet for yourself. And the other one was do not hesitate. 
and then of course you got the three dots so i'm assuming the three dots he would have made something up maybe not sure but uh i'm very curious which is why i almost played the i almost replayed the first episode maybe one day we'll replay we'll, we'll replay the first episode and see but um i'm really curious what any of those options would have changed bro because like when i hear don't hesitate and aim for the head both of those mean he would have shot marlin save the bullet for yourself i don't know what the hell he would have done but as i wouldn't have said that either you know what i'm saying so like yeah i don't know how that situation could have changed it, it actually doesn't make sense so but yeah bro that Ready? first episode he's and i was told that this season was kind of rough <laughs> i was told that the season was rough by what you teach him. Taught him to regret his actions. Ah. This f <laughs> I feel like my options are never good. I did that. Come on. Here's the thing, though. I, I will say this. I'm happy that he has regret. He actually he's not showing signs of being a psychopath. He actually is showing signs that he he, he understands. Like, I don't know how old AJ is, but you got to think he grew up in this in this life. Like. All he knows is this shit. He doesn't know anything about like, you know, video games and playing tag and you know what I'm saying? Like all he knows is 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 this shit. So like I'm actually happy that he shows a little bit of, of oh God. regret and, here. and sadness. So what? The new Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin just leave them alone. <sighs> shit. Clem? What? Why do people have funerals? Tim said they used to have them more if they died. But I don't get it. Well, to say goodbye to someone you've lost. But they're dead. This is your last chance to see them before they're gone forever. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Whatever she said. Even monsters? <laughs> Even monsters. Ten. You ready? I'm guessing they heard that. Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer. But I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. Ooh. 
what I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. Which is She's facts. got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Damn, I can't even sway anybody's opinion. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna have to cut this part out because goddamn this shit this this song for some reason gets copyrighted. <laughs> He gonna break his damn ankle. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No. It didn't work. I did what you said and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't want to let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on. I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Okay. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh... I think I'm sad too. I did what you told me to. I know, you're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? I thought they would listen to us. I didn't realize it. I didn't know how bad it would be. It's my fault they got angry. But they hate me. They don't hate you. Hmm. I think they hate us both. I don't want to go. I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. 
Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not gonna fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ is in dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. Thanks for making sure that we... No, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Where's Tim? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. We already know he knows how to use it. It's yours, AJ. You should keep it. But I murdered Marlin with it. Yeah, but you'll need protection outside. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. <laughs> Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Don't pretend you give a shit. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us.
You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlon did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe. Both of you. Still got that gun? Just try to be more careful with it, okay? I will. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. <laughs> you haven't been on the road as long as me. Klim? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. And the monsters. Yeah, of course we'll be okay. We're used to this. I hate it out here. I wish we could go back. Yeah, so do I. Hide! Saw a couple of you on the road. Oh my god. How long do you think you can hide? Oh shit. Did he not get bit in his neck? From the train station, yes. I thought he died. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. I could have sworn he got shot in the neck or, or bit in the neck. Oh my god. Shit, e. What the fuck? Oh, uh, bro, this happened in the first episode. <laughs> God damn it! Shift D e is a fucking crazy command. I wasn't ready for that. Stay here. <laughs> Tough little bitch, aren't you? I wouldn't, boy. Any closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Uh, don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. Uh, he's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Ah! Don't! Ah! Let him go, please. Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Strong ass hat. What? Oh my god. Clementine. Oh my you? fucking god, bro. I. My name is Lily. Why are you here? You don't remember me. It's been a while. Lily? I 
What kind I of? Died. Right. I came close. What the hell? Not now. The fuck is this? I said not now. Lee isn't with you. Bruh, it's been ten years. So he's dead then. I don't know how long it's been. Never here. forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. It was your fault! Oh my god. I don't blame him. <laughs> I was clearly a threat to the group after I killed that guy. Doug. <sighs> Lee should have left you behind too. I'd have lived longer if he did. So you saying it was my fault? Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there. You'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. Maybe, but you'll die first. Brave, but stupid. I'm surprised you made it this far. You need a better plan than just killing your enemies. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. What? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls. We have working solar panels. See, this is why I'm so food. tired. I'm so tired of people, bro. To go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way. I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. <laughs> shoulder for shoulder. What the? Okay. All right. Okay, game. All right. You know what, bruh? Game, y'all piss it, bruh. Telltale. I know this game is is goddamn. I don't know how long it is. It, I know it's an old game, bruh. But come on, man. How y'all gonna tell me? We've played how many damn seasons of this of this game, right? And they literally say sometimes silence is the best option. You telling me that right then and there, me not making a decision is death for me? Bruh. <sighs> it's scripted. <laughs> it's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Run! She went around. <laughs> Awesome. Shit! 
Uh, I fucking hit E, bro. Come on now. Bro, I can't see. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Alright! That works! Oh my god. Use E to break them up? Huh? Damn tree. Hit him! So much for the tree. Ah! Oh my god. Stop. What? Stop. Too loud. Oh, ugly ass. Telling me that sound was more delicious than the fresh meat. from the shotgun? very painful. So gruesome. I wonder if I should blur that Sorry, out. Let's <laughs> be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. She's just gonna patch you up. It's enough for now. Fucking duct tape. Oh, easy, easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis and Violet ran. They're safe. Yeah, probably. It sucks. Fucking Lily, bro. How you hold a grudge this long? A 
I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. Oh. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Called themselves Whisperers. Oh, okay. They learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. They do this in The Walking Dead. Uh, I think like season alone? 10 if you or were something? part of a group. I don't remember. They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. They do it in the show, is what I was saying. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's so the horrible. twins might be alive? Yes. That's Maybe why I helped not. you. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Wasn't the best throw, but it works. Thank you. I don't remember the whisperers in the show. I vaguely remember those those seasons. So I'm not too familiar with why they Safe. act the way they do. It was difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods? Saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away. Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? <laughs> the city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. <sighs> You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine. If you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school, they'll destroy whatever they find. 
Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. <sighs> I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. It's just a phase, Mom. Watch. <sighs> okay, I will. What I, about you? If I didn't say someone would have died of hypothermia or some shit. Rest well. Chair's got a mind of his own. Good night. Good night. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. there. Walker! Hey, terrible shot. Violet! Lewis! They came back! <sighs> Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he? Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. It's okay, buddy. I got you. Goddamn roller coaster. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, OK? 
okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, we push, we push through it. We don't let it take over. Try not to say the wrong I'm thing. I'm good now. As I'm shoot up the holes. My fault. My fault. I'm new. Clementine, please. We need to talk. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I wanted to help you, but when you told us to run, I had to trust you. Thank you for protecting us. It was really brave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean, she's horrible. She always has been. Her dad was a racist asshole, and she defended everything he did. That's how I remember. Great. <laughs> As if we didn't have more than enough dickheads already. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. A guy named Doug. He was really sweet, protected the group. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ, let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. And you don't have to worry about James. We can trust him. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. Ugh. Wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. A lot. Lay in your defense, fortify walls, set traps, divide the courtyard, 
fortified walls. Yeah. I really hope that if I pick one thing, it's, it's gonna. We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it. So we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Really told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy is asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. Look, I understand you're angry that you lost a friend. But you have to trust me. If you don't, we don't stand a chance. I trust you to put a bullet in the back of my head. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> Since no one else stepped the fuck up. <sighs> These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. Giving me life is strange vibes. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I I guess I didn't realize how long it's been, how much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day, or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. You know what's crazy? So this being the final season, they added so much. See, like they added collectibles to this, Wild boy. as if they were planning on making more parts, episodes. They were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man. I know that the little. company got like they disbanded. Make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. But like they really added so much in this that like kind of it's kind of pointless only a little bit I can't
can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. Ladder? What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. Alright. Ladder is broken. God damn. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. Alright. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Do I have a weapon? Tell me I went in here without a weapon. I think I just realized what what the the E to break them up is. I think you can hit E on multiple and then start killing them. I'll get the door open. Basically, you stun them all and then you start killing them. All right, I'm gonna remember that. That's three. Not bad. What about myself? Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear, <laughs> Jerusalem artichoke. There's a lot of gingers in this False building. False Solomon seal. Sorry. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are gonna do wonders for morale. You wait and see. So wait, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. You mean to tell me y'all stopped using this greenhouse because of three walkers? And nobody said, you know what, let's go take the greenhouse back so we can start using the greenhouse again. All of these damn herbs and spices, y'all could have had a whole KFC in this bitch and y'all decided not to. All right. What am I looking for? Barbed wire. What am I looking for? Barbed wire through. Thanks. Find something. Yep, maybe useful. The useful half of a shovel. Yes, dibs. Oh, you meant to say claimed? Sorry. If you know, you know. Claimed. for getting past lots the fact that this season only has four episodes too and it's the final season Shift. sometimes i feel like i should be playing with controller and then they put me in a first person Earth shooter wire. a lot of it too that should it keep the raiders from climbing our walls hey we can use these for what? We can make bombs out of these. 
Bombs? Are you serious? <laughs> totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. Oh. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. A vampire. Guilty. Rope. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. A damn fly. Lab door. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. Oh, now you want my help. A damn Q. Bruh. <laughs> Gotta work on my, my button mash. Tap the glass. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, let's see what's inside. Had a scare, that's all. A shift cue? Oh no. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. She looks. You can barely recognize her. She's just, just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just there were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. Damn. Must have she got taught bit. me how to patch people up, stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. She has so much blood. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Damn. So much science. I'm not even going to pretend like I know this, this this goddamn periodic table. Is that what it's called? Periodic table? Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. Well, it's actually, it's actually, I'm actually curious what chemicals could be in there. <sighs> Let's hope there's gas in it. 
Bro, oh my god. Really? Yeah, perfect. Uh, here. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. Pretty sure I'm, I'm still trying to sway the opinion of everybody. So as I do certain things, I'll put a stone in the graveyard back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. Mitch is going to take sure a lot of convincing. You help me. That you've got a, a good heart under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. Someone does that Brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So we've got a greenhouse again and bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? No. Just get some sleep, okay? Lewis? I'm sorry that you're hurting and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlon, he... Forget it. I should go. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? <laughs> he helped carry me. And he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. AJ, I was never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way. Why he wanted us gone. <sighs> me too. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice, but I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. You 
now place collectibles in your room. My room, my temporary room. Nice. Is that a Venus fly trap in my back pocket? That plant looks scary. Oh, it is. It's a fly trap. It eats bugs. A plant can eat bugs? <laughs> That's so, so awesome. Pretty cool. Damn, BPI got, got a little. Uh, hey, look, it's Disco Broccoli and his friend. I wish you could have seen this cartoon. <laughs> Me too. Hey, this one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Hmm, huh, yeah, but it would still look good on you. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh yeah, I think it's the same character. Cool. Hmm, this one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. I think I'm good, we uh... I've already looked around. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries, <sighs> bang. Oh shit. <laughs> Two weeks. the inception
You were having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. Oh, shit. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Mm. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. I don't know about that. I've never met anyone who could go more than a few days without sleep. Then I'll be the first. If we were in danger, then I would. Ah! Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. I raised you to be strong, not stupid. I'm not. Shutting people out when they're trying to help you? That's stupid. Please, don't call me stupid. I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. To atone me. I'm going to help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. Absolutely not. It's dark out there. Um, uh, actually, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'd, uh, uh kind of rather stay. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> what is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah, come on up. I I'm not scared, just tired. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> Think you need that? Can you put the ship away? <laughs> it's a tiny AJ? bit psychopathic. It's... What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. You ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey, I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. We got effigies all over the place. Looking like the force. 
Where do I get these damn heads? Hmm. Place looks ready for a war. Nice shot. Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but... When he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games, while my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you, both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, I, I still do. AJ killed him. I didn't stop it. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. I'll never be glad he died. But I understand why AJ thought it was the right thing to do. Here, you take it. Are you sure? I mean... It's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... Before he stopped. Do I even Go ahead. use it? Try it. In that direction, please. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. Bruh, did you just see that goddamn air ball you did? Bruh, how you missed... You went over the fence. Oh, I got this. <laughs> Easy. Damn. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. I play cod. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Oh, what up? Sounds good. You need to practice. Sorry. And Clem, thank you. For all of it. So can I can I practice shooting with him? <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Can I practice shooting with him? Oh my god. Speed! <clears throat> can I practice shooting with him to get his skill up? Cause uh your boy need your boy need a buff or something. What's that noise? It'll work. the music start? It has to. <laughs> I just got heads. There's no way that shit smells. Right. It gotta be nose blind to all this, this, this stench. Hey, what are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. Uh... This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. This is a... If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. All right, yeah. Let me just light this goddamn pipe bomb. Stand back. Right next to the igniter. Fucking shit! If it doesn't work. Fucking shit! I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time to think. I get it. 
I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. That thing's gonna go off in about five days. It's like a World War II bomb. I'm pretty sure I just read a story that, like, there was a, a, a World War II bomb found on, like, a Chinese airport. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild. I don't remember if they, they went off. I just remember it delaying a bunch of flights. I'm gonna walk over here, and Rose is gonna bite me. Ms. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone. What are you doing down there, Rosie? Come here, girl. Good girl. What did Marlon used to do? It's beautiful where you are, Brody. <laughs> that is so disrespectful, bro. I know I spit on. I know I spit on David's face in that one episode, but I ain't about to spit on somebody's grave. That's the same. So, like, a part of me kind of feels like maybe the twins would be alive, right? If they, I mean. I'm just I'm just curious because like if they if they use the kids as like warriors right to fight there is a slight chance that the twins could be a lot still wouldn't want to pledge to that <laughs> leave or die maybe they saw that sign it was like you know what let's not mess with these kids <laughs> Do some more training. You do some more training. That gave me more of a challenge. Violet went to board up the hallway, didn't she? Yep. I would have done it later. I just wanted to do this first. It's okay. She needed something to keep herself busy. Well then, glad to help. Go ahead and practice if you want. It's all ready for you. You practice. <laughs> oh man. This is making me want to play Black Ops again. I saw in the intro where I talked about what we're going to be streaming. I've been playing so a lot of Black Ops lately. When they get here? I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, <laughs> right. Anybody else I could check on? Back hallway secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. They're ready for this. Really? Really. The school is defended and everyone's eager to get the fight over with. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself- Guys, what the fuck? 
<laughs> Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say! That uh, doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders, if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant, idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid! You're being childish! I am not! You're I'm gonna make me to pick help. between so the two. And stop arguing! A sim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical, too! No, it isn't! It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. Damn! What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even push get to the kidneys. Right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with oh, Marlon. Oh, nobody's on lookout. I mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we plan? Truth or dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. All right. Oh, great. Nice. <laughs> this should be good. RNG. Let's see. Truth. Marry, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Marry, flip, kill. <laughs> Ruby, a Sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... I don't like that. <laughs> You're making me choose this shit. Buddy. Ruby. Watch out, a Sim. She's totally gonna swoop in and ruin your dream. You gotta admit, Clem's a way better catch than you. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, 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 flip. I'm gonna say James because I, wait, it was Mary, flip. Oh, kill was the next option. Ah, this is stupid. A sim. Oh, wow. That's wow. No, that's awkward. This I don't think you're his type. He's into redheads. Dude, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> so that means you're killing. This is amazing. Boy from the woods. I'll try to shed a tear for the poor boy none of us met, who's probably just a figment of Clem's that's imagination. The, no, he's not. The only I reason met. I well, said that is because dead. he's not here. Poor dude. This is great. We're laughing. We're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. Childish. Why is it just me? I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. Uh. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. I wouldn't want him kissing a walker head, for being honest. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I can't breathe! <laughs> well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. Man. These games suck. <laughs> I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? 
Seriously? Like, like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. Seriously? Putting me on the spot isn't cool. You did it to a sim. It's okay, Clem. You don't have to answer. And blam! That's how a game dies. I thought they were gonna give me a chance a to answer. I actually would've answered. got the high card. And the loser is... Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um... I, I think... I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday. Cause the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end. And another one will start. An age without walkers. Like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. They didn't get and to see our new like president. A good place so. to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. <laughs> it's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. Why y'all gotta make me choose between people, bro? It's annoying. Be making me choose friendships and shit, man. I haven't spoken to Vi Violet like that it's much this whole episode, so. So, we're checking the walls? Yep, from up there. That's the best view. You ready for a climb? It looks a little dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than walkers? Or that death trap you called a car? It was a pretty okay. cool car. Okay, fair. Come on, you're not chicken, right? <laughs> no. Now I'm thinking about chicken nuggets. Do you remember those? Not really. I do. I always got them on Sundays. There's no time for Grandma to cook between church and Bible study, so fast food. Man, I'd give an eyeball for a chicken nugget right now. You forgetting that Clem is missing a damn finger. Barbed wire, traps, weapons. 
It's everything we planned. You made it happen. We couldn't have done it without you. You've got lookout duty tonight, right? Yep, me and AJ. Do you have time to hang out first? Mm-hmm. Sure. Beautiful. Sometimes I need the quiet just to get away for a while. Clem. Yeah? I know you came back for medicine, for AJ, but after that you could have just left. Avoided all the bullshit with the raiders. Why didn't you? Sorry, I know that puts you on the spot. You don't have to answer. We've all got our reasons. Why would I go anywhere else if you're here? I'm glad. Do you know any constellations? Nope. You? I learned some in school, but can't remember them. Let's make some up. Come over here. You can sit down at that floor with your death. If I remember right, everyone's born under a special sign, right? It determines your personality. That's astrology, not astronomy. <laughs> there we go. Whatever, let's just make up our own. Rules, signs, what it says about you. It's not like anyone remembers the old way. Okay, let's do it. There! See? It's a fish. Oh, okay. I didn't make the dots. Right. Now it needs a personality. Bright, pretty, good with other people, always moving, tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. The energy one is easy. Good with people, not so much. That's AJ, wherever I look. There he is, taking up all my attention. And I love him for it. He's getting better around other people. You're doing good with him. Next up. I spy with my eye a knife. See it? Mm, right there. Right above your head. Yeah, they're all above my head. <laughs> uh. Okay, it, it kind of looks like a little sword. Oh, wow, it's the, the same damn shiv that AJ awesome. had. <laughs> this one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't take crap from anyone. Gets shit done. Sounds just like you. Uh, I like that one. Yeah. Okay, one more time. I found a bird. Like a real bird? No, a star bird. Right there. What the fuck kind of bird is that? Uh, <laughs> Alright. Um Uh let's just that was uh, uh <laughs> Okay, that's not one. Alright. Oh, it lights up. Gotcha. Interesting. All right, I did not see that, but okay. A bird is free. <laughs> it could go anywhere it wanted to, up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset and see where it ends. It's all of us. Everyone here wishes they could fly away from all of this. Maybe we'll learn to fly together someday. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. It's just I've watched people leave before. Family, friends, 
they never come back. But you did. And now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um... That sounds much dumber when I say it out loud. <sighs> you know what I mean. I think... I mean, I hope... We're more than friends. And... I want... I'm honestly not sure. I just know I like you. And I want this. So do I. Bye! Liam, you out here? Shit sticks. <laughs> Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with him. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? <laughs> I think it's time I can. Uh. <laughs> if you do. Okay, but not the F word. Shit is the upper limit. Oh, that guy is a... F <laughs> a, a shitbird. <laughs> it's not funny, Clem. Come on. <laughs> I'd take a big shit on his head. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Try <laughs> thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four... AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. And he doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna kill him like he deserves. What would Rick do? Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. That's not a walker. That's him. Good job, AJ. Remember that damn balding head anyway. Come on, we have to tell the others. Wait, he's missing an arm. They finally show up? Yeah. Stay safe, okay? Two. We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh, no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them and won, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. No matter what happens, I just realized I don't see that. Hide now, Omar. I got him. I don't see Omar at all. So. Come on. Five. I No. Open up, kid. Something happened again. 
go. Go. I'll be all right. You don't have much time. Go! I gotta stop doing the goddamn ship cues, bro. Telling me you did that with your. I was expecting the battering ram. It's okay. Just try not to move or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. They just scarecrows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. Get the chance. Where's our new recruit? Shut up. They're not yours. Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And you. I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? Because you pick fights you can't win? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. Uh, that she might said be bullshit. she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Shit. Oh. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can. I just want them back. Please. Don't listen to her, Ten. You know she's lying. She stole your sisters. She took them away from you. From their home. Damn plot armor. Why? God damn it. Why? Why? Mitch! No! Kill who you have to. Take the rest. Oh my fucking god. Oh, well, he's no longer an adventurer. <laughs> As a Skyrim joke. <laughs> Follow them! Okay. So 
why the hell did Mitch have to die? There was more than one. Kill that one, the girl. Shift Q is such a goddamn dumb command. Damn it. <laughs> Weak, small, afraid, and still alive. Oh boy. <laughs> Let a lot of folks die to get you. I fucking hit caps lock. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, all right. <laughs> I dare you to get out of that one. Shit. This should be easy. I'll see you in hell. You'll be there for a good long time before I show up. I don't mind waiting. Don't die. You, I'm so tired of you with your bald ass head. Get off me. Thank you, Rosie. They about to make me choose. No. What the fuck? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Why does this game do this, bruh? Why does this game do this, man? Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. 
I can't. I can't, bro. I can't fucking do this. Oh. I feel like every episode has a moment like this where I just can't fucking, like, they, I can't make this decision and feel good about it. He's not dead though. My fault, my fault, my fault. Sorry for yelling too. <laughs> oh, they didn't get 10. Who else they get? There was two people in there. Clem, I, I'm sorry for trusting her. <laughs> they took them, a Sim, a Sim and Omar and. Oh, and Omar. Damn it, Lewis. I know. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. I know who does. Well, we've got someone who does. Oh. I wasn't thinking about it. <sighs> Hit him in the balls again. That's a great thumbnail. Jesus. Suffer the children. Well, all right, y'all. That's going to be the end of episode two of The Walking Dead final season. Thank you all if y'all made it this far. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be recording episode three, and then I I've been thinking about it this whole episode. I wanna I wanna stream episode four. So when episode three is uploaded, um, I'm gonna be announcing the day of the stream. It'll most likely be the same day of the upload for episode three. Um, so yeah, keep on the lookout for episode three and that announcement but uh yeah man thank y'all for watching um 
And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. Pieces.